birthday ceremony. Before we begin proceedings, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet. Today we are here to commemorate all the sacrifices made by the Anzacs in World War One and World War Two. If we could all bow our heads in prayer. Remember, O oh Lord, all those, the brave and the true, who have died the death of honour, and, and, and departed in the hope of the resurrection to eternal life. In that place of light from which sorrow, the morning, and the far vanished, give them rest. O oh Lord, thou lover of man, and grant, and grant us to who remain the spirit of service, which may take us worthy of their sacrifice. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 If all Amen. people who wish to lay the wreaths, please set, um, set them up beneath the uh, Australian flag, which is uh, just behind you. They shall not grow old. They shall not grow old as we are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. The last post is the bugle. It sounded in bar barracks and other military installations. At 2200 hours to mark the end of the day, end of the day's activities. It is also sounded at military funerals and commemorative services to indicate that the soldier's day has drawn to a final close.
And thanks for coming along today to help us celebrate Anzac Day 2020. I've been asked many times, have I written a speech? Am I going to write a speech? What are, what are we going to do for Anzac Day? And to be honest, I was just standing there one day and I thought, you know what? I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is speak to you from the heart. So I'm going to try and communicate in a way that I think the fallen soldiers, the Anzacs, would have wanted us to communicate. And since it was such a long time ago, uh, World War I was in 1915, as you all know, started with a, a, a royal couple, if you like, a, a, a noble couple in Austria, Hungary, uh, who were murdered. Um, and we all have families. We, we know what that's like, um, uh, having someone murdered. Um, you, you, you get frustrated, you get cranky, um, and we don't always know the best way to deal with things. So they, they, they uh, set, set to war, um, got, got Russia involved against England, and in England, you know, same thing, you know, our people are dying, we need help. Um, they, they enlisted the help of, obviously, the Australians and the New Zealanders. Something, something very funny and strange happened in, in history on, on at that time where Australians and New Zealanders came together as brothers. And what, it, what we did in effect was we fought together alongside each other as, as mates. And um, together we, we, we tried to help our friends. So in terms of the speech and what I'm going to say today, I'm going to try and liken, you know, history to, to our community right now. We've got a community that we love, a community that we, we have friends and mates. And I, I joined this server just a, a little over a year ago today and, and became Civco a year ago today. So this, for me, is a bit of a celebration of the memory of, of what we uh, did back then for Anzac Day. Um, so we play on the server, we play together every day as mates. We, we use this as a bit of an escape. So I think what I want to try and convey to you is that, you know, real life with all its trappings and, you know, things that are going on, bad people in the world, all that sort of stuff, we, we band together at times like that. We, we come together here for a bit of light relief, a little bit of entertainment, a little bit of fun. And as we've grown as a community over those last 12 months, we, we tend to want to be together uh, and help each other. And like if I'm trying to recall, I think I hear it briefing uh, Mr. Roberts, Nathan Roberts, say every single night, we're mates. This, this is what we do. Let's be kind to each other. Let's be good to each other. And so I guess then the analogy is if a flop comes into the server, um, 
we, we, we kind of go, well, that guy's a bit strange or a little bit odd and, and he's behaving very badly. And, and I guess for the Anzacs back then, they saw that there was an issue. They saw that people were getting killed and that people were behaving badly and, and they went to fight for us, for our freedom, for our country and the New Zealand people for their, for their family and for their freedom. And although we've come a long way since since those days, since 1915, we, we have a better way of handling things. We have diplomats and governments and, and all sorts of things to help us out. I guess a lot of the blame back in the day was the government um, sending people off to war. And certainly that was true for subsequent wars. But actual fact, the Australians and New Zealanders at 14 were putting their hands up to go to war because they wanted to fight to protect what we have today. And so again, in terms of this community, uh, you, you, see, you see what goes on in Discord, you see, you see what goes on everywhere. We're, we're all banding together and trying to fight for, for a common cause. So, so no guns these days, but certainly it, it helps to give you an idea of the mentality of what those brave soldiers were thinking way back then. So I'm, I'm going to end it with that. Um, I guess one of the last things I want to say is, is the government has recently uh, made a decision to uh, start the build on a, on a project for the New South Wales Ambulance Service, um, a $29 million building, $29 million building um, that we're hoping we can unveil today sometime after the event. So again, thanks everyone for coming. I, I appreciate you, you being here and turning up and the fact that there's so many people standing in front of me as a community trying to celebrate a, a, a historical community, I, I guess is what the true meaning of the Anzac spirit and, and today is. Thanks everyone. We'd like to thank all people who came to this event and took the time to honour what the Anzacs have done for our country. We appreciate the respect that everyone's shown and the way that we've conducted ourselves. That concludes the speeches for today. Thank you, guys. Lest we forget. 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 Lest we what they said. Uh, yeah, you're a fucking flop. Everyone could just remain, I believe we're gonna fly over. All right, guys, in respect for today's ceremony, uh, the server's going to be closing for a few minutes, all right? Um, I suggest just use this time to reflect um, and, and pay additional respects to uh, those that have fought for our country. Disrespect from that guy. And there we have it. Charlie 1, Charlie 1 to all cars in channel. If uh, we could all uh, just have a minute of silence over radio comms uh, in respect of those who fought for our country. Thanks. <laughs>